असलम वेलकम टू अवर चैनल बॉटनी विद यूट्यूब होप यू आर फाइन एंड शाइन टुडे आई एम हेयर अ पी एच डी स्कॉलर आई एम गोइंग टू प्रजेंट अ टॉपिक एंटेरिक बैक्टेरिया यू कैन सी हेयर इन डाइग्राम द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बैक्टेरिया outline or contents which we will discuss in our video are introduction how does bacteria enter the body what happen when bacteria entered the body symptoms treatment prevention enteric disease or pathogens types introduction you can see here diagram of bacteria a large group of gram negative bacteria they are rod shaped bacteria and they have ability to metabolize aerobically they are found in intestine of animals and humans enteric bacteria can be either harmless such as gut flora or microbiota or pathogenic which means they cause disease they are typically 1 to 5 micrometer in length they have gram negative strains most have many flagella used to move about but few genera are non motile means some genera have ability to move with the help of flagella and some are non motile because they don't have flagella they don't have ability to move from one area to another area If you are new in our channel then please please try to subscribe our channel firstly you can see here the logo of botany channel how does enteric bacteria entered the body enteric bacteria entered the body orally generally through the consumption of food or water that is contaminated with animals or human feces other means of transmission include direct contact with contaminated water in swimming pool or lakes contaminated surface or feces from animals or individuals most human cases of entries or for example diarrhea caused by enteric bacteria are associated with food poisoning you can see here in diagram how does enteric bacteria enter these organism are very common in the intestine of animals and may contaminate animal products during processing the highest risk is associated with unpasteurized milk and undercooked poultry products and undercooked foods for example burgers kebabs you should have to wash your hand before eating or drinking or smoking after working with the animals or playing with the animals
what happened when bacteria entered the body you can see here in structure when pathogenic bacteria entered the body they begin to multiply and cause infection in response to infection an individual immune system work to eliminate the pathogenic bacteria in most individuals the immune system is able to fight off the infection so illness does not result however when the immune system cannot clear the infection cell in the body can become damaged and an individual may experience sign and symptoms of illness means if the bacteria enter into the body and the body of organism or individual have ability to face the bacteria or have immunity to kill the bacteria they will kill the bacteria otherwise bacteria will cause infection in human or anybody and they will show sign and symptoms of illness you can see here some symptoms fever vomiting body aches abdominal pain diarrhea treatment treatment for individuals infected with pathogenic bacteria varies depending on the types of bacteria causing the illness in general treatment may involve hydration antimicrobial therapy factors to consider when considering antimicrobial therapy includes the type of pathogenic bacteria the site of infection and other individual specific factors such as individual age allergies past medical history and medication history you can see here the logo of botany channel share our channel share our videos with your other fellows prevention human infection with these agent can be prevented by taking the following step you can see here in diagram also remember to wash your hand by hand handling the animals and after touching the animals and after playing with animals you should have to wash your hand before eating foods cook all meat thoroughly and do not allow cook meat to rest on surface that have contaminated or contacted with raw meat do not drink unpasteurized milk or milk product always wash your hand after handling animals and before putting anything in your mouth examples of enteric bacteria you can see here read this paragraph most bacteria are present in intestine of humans some type of bacteria for example e coli some are present in pools 
in pounds and in milk and meat enteric disease and pathogen it is known that soil is a recipient of solid waste and they are able to contain enteric pathogen in high concentration the gastrointestinal infection are the most common disease caused by enteric bacteria the symptoms appear in this disease will be fever diarrhea they are caused by escherichia coli means e coli bacteria hepatitis a hepatitis e enteric adenoviruses polioviruses types 1 and 2 are the type of enteric viruses associated with human waste water means present in urine or other waste water is from organism body what are different type of enteric bacteria the intestine of all humans and animals are colonized by large number of enteric bacteria the majority of enteric bacteria are harmless and help to maintain a healthy intestinal tract these are generally referred to as a gut flora or human microbiota ho over other enteric bacteria are pathogenic causing illness for example e coli are harmless botany with youtube is our channel like our video if you have any question in your mind you can ask us in comment section you can see here types e coli bacteria as one of the most studied species of enterobacteria some e coli bacteria are harmless 75 to 95% of urinary tract infectious by e coli bacteria it is also a type of bacteria which cause diarrhea in men you can see here another type of bacteria you should have to take antibiotics to treat this disease or recover by this disease thanks to visit our channel thanks for your concentration and attention good luck to all of you allah hafiz